Genesis chapter 1 and in verse 28. And God blessed them. And God said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion. Over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' precious name. Lift your right hand and ask the Lord, Lord, move me to the next level tonight. Move me to the next level tonight. Move me to the next level. Move me, Lord, to that next level. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Tonight, we shall be looking at supernatural shift in fruitfulness and multiplication. Supernatural shift in fruitfulness and multiplication. What the Lord said to us at the crossover is that there will be shift in revival. There will be shift in miracle signs and wonders and there will be shift numerically. The destiny of God's people is increase. The destiny of God's people is multiplication. The destiny of God's people is fruitfulness. We are not meant to be fruitless, barren, or bankrupt. The question is, what power do we need to experience increase, fruitfulness, multiplication in what we do. I'm not dealing with finances yet. Finances is scheduled for tomorrow. But increase. If you are single, increase means you got married. If you are married and you have no children, increase means children are flowing. Businessman, it means your businesses are multiplying. That is things. Things are multiplying around you. Pastoring means you don't pastor an empty church. What power is needed to see fruitfulness and to see multiplication? Number one is the power of the blessing. God blessed them. God said, be fruitful, multiply. Whatever is blessed is not permitted to be fruitless. Whatever is blessed is not permitted to be desolate. God blessed them. God said, be fruitful. So anything you know to do to activate the blessing will provoke your increase. You shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and your water. And so on. Anything that will provoke the blessing will activate your multiplication. The power of the blessing number two is the power of the seed. 
the seed, according to Zechariah chapter 8, verse 12, the seed shall be prosperous. The vine shall give her fruit. And the ground shall yield her increase. The heavens shall give their due. Seed carries multiplication power. The seed of time, the seed of effort, the seed of energy, the seed of the world, the seed of resources will cause increase to happen. Number three is the power of prayer. Sorry, the power of praise. The power of praise. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19, he said, And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few, and I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Everywhere praise is, things grow. Don't freeze your life by permanently squeezing your face. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Your praise is your fertilizer for increase. And they were praising God and having favor. And the Lord added. Acts chapter 2 verse 47. And the Lord added to the church, such as should be saved. Praise. Frowning can't get you married on time. Frowning can't bring fruit of the womb. The Bible said concerning Sarah, and her countenance was no more sad. That was when she was ready to bring forth children. 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 17. And then in verse 18. Her countenance was no more sad. And then in verse 19. They rose in the morning. And that verse 19. God remembered her. In verse 18. Her countenance was no more sad. In verse 19. God remembered her. Until you rejoice in God, you may not be remembered by God. And God remembered her. So we have the power of the blessing, the power of the seed, the power of praise. Number four is the power of prayer. That is why we are here tonight. You can pray to make demands on increase. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 37. Make demands on fruitfulness. Make demands on multiplication. Ezekiel 36, 37 to 38. Thus saith the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. What is that? I will increase them with men like a flock as the holy flock as the flock of Jerusalem in their solemn feasts. So shall the waste cities be filled with flocks of men and they shall know that I am the Lord. Everything that is empty around your life is about to be filled. House that is empty of children is about to be filled with children. House empty of wife or husband is about to be filled. He said, I will do it for them. If they demand it of me, I will do it for them. If they demand it of me. So the power of prayer is the power for fruitfulness and the power for multiplication. Number seven, six or five is the power of the spirit. The power of the spirit. Isaiah 32 and in verse 15 he said, Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. And the wilderness be a fruitful field. And the fruitful field will be counted for a forest. 
Once the spirit is poured, the wilderness becomes fruitful. Fruitful fields become forested. Once the spirit is poured. So beloved brothers, we are talking about some of the things you are going to be hearing will be coming over and over again for the purpose of retention. Flow in the spirit, pray in the spirit, blast in the spirit. The move of the spirit equals the initiation of fruitfulness and increase. The spirit is poured from on high. Wildernesses become fruitful. Fruitful places become forests. The power of the spirit. Number six, the power of death to self. John chapter 12, verse 24. Except the corn of wheat. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it dies, it bringeth forth much fruit. It bringeth forth much fruit. Fruit will happen for the man, happen for the woman around the person who is dead to himself. Things grow around that person who will not claim the glory. Things grow around that person who will not claim God's glory. Things grow around that person who is unassuming. Where pride is gone. Where arrogance is gone. Where ostentation is gone. Where the raising of the shoulder is gone. Things grow around that person. Who is dead to self. The reason why many are alone. You say he abided alone. Is because he has refused to die. Except the corn of wheat fall to the ground and die. He abided alone. God knows that there are people. If he will increase anything around them. They will not be able to walk on the floor anymore. If he increases the church of that pastor. Small. He won't greet anybody at all. Maybe they have to carry him on, the, on their head. So he leaves him with smallness. If he changes that person's life, it doesn't, the person may go to hell, so he leaves him there. But where a person is dead to self, there is nothing that happens around you that changes your character. There is nothing that, no level of promotion will give you, will give you arrogance. Then God will promote you beyond measure. He will increase things around you because your flesh is dead. The power of death to self. And finally, the power of abiding in Christ. Abiding in Christ. Abiding in him. John chapter 15 and in verse 5, he said, if a man abide, verse 5 I said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If you abide in me, and I abide in you, it is called unbroken communion. When you are in communion that is not broken with your master, your life is at the realm of fruitfulness. You are not just praying. You have almost turned into prayer yourself. Abide in me. Refusing to allow circumstances to discourage you. Remaining in Christ. Remaining in fellowship. Remaining in the word. Remaining in prayer. When you remain with him, your life will be fruitful. I welcome you to a supernatural shift in the realms of fruitfulness. You believe it, say amen. amen. Anybody believe that will say a louder amen. amen. Will you stand up on your feet and shout the loudest amen? amen. For everyone here tonight, I prophesy, whatever is empty around you is getting filled after tonight. 
Whatever is empty around you is getting filled after tonight. Whatever is empty around you is getting filled after tonight. Now lift your hands and thank him for the word you have received. 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 Honor him, adore him, worship him for the word you have received. Father, we give you the praise. Thank him for the word you have received. Lift your hands, lift your voice. Thank him.